uh, representing Ohio, the best, in fact, the best area of Ohio uh, he represented, Rob Portman. Good to have you on, Senator. Spoken as a true Cincinnatian. As a true Bill. Cincinnatian. Why can't I believe that the Bengals are for real? I don't know, it might be those outfits Burrow keeps wearing yeah. uh, when it's not Halloween. It's no. last week. So, you know, and then you, you ask about the inflation number, it is at 830. And pollsters say it's going to be a really friendly number. So run! <laughs> <laughs> pollsters, God almighty. Um, so what, what are you hearing about, you're a senator, obviously, but what, what's going to happen with the House? Low, two, low 220s, is that what uh, the scuttlebutt is right now? Do, yeah. do you know anything we don't know? Uh, probably not, but um, I, I do think, you know, the country's divided. The American people are, are divided, kind of right down the middle, and, and that's reflected in these House numbers. It'll be a, a Republican majority, unless something uh, changes dramatically. And... But it'll be a bare majority and, and a difficult majority to hold together. In the Senate, um, you know, it's still up in the air. It depends on Nevada. Do you think it's possible in Nevada that Laxalt stays? It's possible ahead. that he, he keeps his lead. And if he keeps his lead and then we Georgia. win Georgia, uh, then it's a Republican majority. But, but it's, my point is it's right on the nice edge. And, and people ought to pay attention. You know, when Joe Biden ran for president, uh, he actually talked about bringing people together. In fact, he won a primary saying, I'm going to be the adult in the room, work with Republicans, as I always have, and then at his inaugural address, he used the word unify or some synonym 19 right. times. And he's never done it, in my view. Um, so this is an opportunity now. If Republicans had won big, which a lot of people expected, frankly, I think it would have been harder for him because he would have been under a lot of pressure from the left. Well, they, they, they should have won big. And, and abortion was definitely, was definitely a factor, but so were crappy candidates that shouldn't have been uh, in there in the first place. And we know how that happened. Yeah, yeah. Right? Quality matters. Quality matters. It, is, 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 Herschel, a quality candidate? Well, he came very close, you know, to, to winning he didn't answer. In, in the general. He's, I mean, he's, he, can, he can certainly win. He can no, certainly no. Win. Do you think he's a quality candidate? Uh, I think he let the people of Georgia decide that. I mean, I don't know what you mean by oh. quality. He, he got a lot of votes. Well, I mean, he almost got 50% of the vote. Uh, football players, have some, I guess there's been in the past where they've, they've done well. But somewhat, some people might question, you know, a celebrity doctor, uh, a... Although, uh, he was a, he's not just a celebrity doctor, he was a pretty good surgeon, uh, Oz, but I don't know if he'd be a good senator. Now, I guess what I'm getting at, could Georgia, and we're seeing, we, we still love Sea Island, I love Sea Island, we know about, uh, about Georgia. Uh, do you, so we, you probably know, have some insight down there. Could it be different this time if, if Donald Trump doesn't get Absolutely. involved? Absolutely. It could be different. Yeah. You said Brian Kemp yeah. could be at Raftenberg. Well, yeah. the, the, yeah. He Every, could get the Georgia Republican establishment behind him. Everybody's in, uh, and Kemp won by eight points, uh, and he's got you know, some momentum right, right now. He's going to be helping. Everybody's going to be helping. And I, I do think that what happened last time was Donald Trump convinced a lot of Republicans not to vote. Not to vote. That's exactly what happened. So we could lose the Senate question. twice because of one, one person. Uh, well, well, the Republicans I, could I, I don't think he'll do that this don't time. Mean we. Something like four out of the five congressional districts where we had the lowest right. turnout last time were the best Republican districts in the state. So that's what happened last time. There's no question about Franklin's it. This time, just, that's not going to happen. Franklin's just came on and said that, that Trump is just the, a shoe in for the nomination for 2024. I think everything changed on Tuesday. I disagree. I disagree with I think you. everything changed on yeah. Tuesday. Frank's a smart guy, but I disagree on, on that one. I don't think Donald Trump's going to run. Now, that puts me in a distinct minority, I know. What do you think he's going to say next week? On the 15th. Well, we'll see. I mean, he, changes. He's, he's hyped it before and, and, and not come through it. Look, I, I think what he's going to do is look at the polls, and the polls show that his approval rating is quite high among hardcore Republicans, certainly among Republicans in, in Ohio and other states. But when the second question is asked, do you think he ought to run for president, the numbers are much you know, less compelling for him. And in fact, head-to-head, uh, -head, as you know, with uh, Governor DeSantis, he's, he's losing in some of these Republican polls. So. Could he I think be a spoiler? I, I mean, I think that, you know, I don't know who could lose to, to President Biden. Probably if you are got a hardcore 30% or 25% in the Republican Party, you're going to lose in 2024. Could he be a spoiler if someone, that, if he's unhappy, if it, does he become a third party candidate if DeSantis runs? No, I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't think you so. don't think it'll be a scorched earth? No, I mean, look, I, I think he's likely to look at the polling data and say, you know, he he doesn't want to lose. And uh, so I, I don't think he goes through with it at the end of the day. He's still a powerful force in the party, though. And again, his favorability rating is high. He can play a constructive role. In his administration, what he did on tax policy, regulatory policy, foreign policy, even building up the military, I mean, a lot of good things he can talk about. That's what the role is that he ought to be playing. If he does, it'll really help the You've got a party. truly unifying guy here, so you can ask, you know, he has some <laughs> questions about whether, we, whether the country could be 
closer to I think well, because Democrats did so well, you're ready to. Although, do, although that's what right, that's, that's what Frank It's not that's just the Frank Democrats did well. It's, it's that the Republicans who were who were in the most populist of the sort of Trumpian camp, but the Santos, didn't do well. You think DeSantis that's the is point. a total? You that's think it's a real fringe candidate? Well, no. Stuff. And the question the question about DeSantis is whether does he move to the does, center? Whether he moves. Look, a year ago, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, he was probably closer to being more centered. He's actually moved more populist over the past 12 months. The question is, and, and, to, and did that to replace the sort of Trumpianism, I think, to some degree. <laughs> the you, question is, does he move back? I, you may disagree. Be, that might be the, in the eye of the beholder, I think. You that, may that disagree with that analysis, that my, but that I think, point. I think, I think that he, the he just won with big numbers, and part of it is the policies, and part of it is, frankly, competence. You know, I think people are looking for people who know how to manage things competently, and he showed that. So I think that attributes. But, but I think the, the question about DeSantis yeah. is whether you think he moves more populist in terms of the rhetoric over the next two years. Like an example, what, what, what is an example of what you're... you're I don't Disney? think he has to. Okay. I don't think he has to. Disney, that's the a, whole... That's a the, populist take that he has on, on Disney? Look, I, th I think where the Republican Party was related to business... And you would say... 18 would, months would ago, say and where it is today... Is immigration like, is the same kind of thing? Would you say no, immigration, I put it in a, in a, in a slightly different those, category. He, he sent those people to Martha. I think you, you focus on right. crime, you focus on the border, you focus on immigration generally, you focus on the economy, obviously, and inflation, and those are the issues. When, when you look at what happened in this election, candidates who talked about those issues, including J.D., by the way, you mentioned right. J.D. Vance in Ohio. That's what he's talked about. All of his ads were about those issues, every one of them. I think they'll do well, particularly when you Here, combine it Here's the question, though. Is it, is it, do you do it? You can disagree with people and have completely opposite ends of, of, of the spectrum in terms of what you think needs to be done on each of these issues. Do you do it in a trolling way, or do you right. do it in a way that says, right. hey, I disagree with you, I think we should do this? Yeah. Or do you do it and say, I disagree with you and up yours? I mean, that's I, the... I, I totally agree. And I, I think when you look at what happened with the independent vote, the Republicans did not do well. That's where we lost ground. It wasn't turnout on our side or turnout on their side. It was among these independents. In a place like Ohio, we did pretty well. You know, Mike DeWine won by 20-plus points. Uh, and, and J.D. Vance won by eight points. But in other states, we just didn't appeal to independents. And I think a lot of it's style. And well, how did independents get over the, the, the populist, uh, let's say, that you do perceive... DeSantis as a populist or someone who trolls. How did, he, how did he win by such a margin in what had been a swing state? Well, again, competency. He, he focused on issues and he was shown to be a, a competent manager, particularly with regard to COVID. And I think that's what people are looking for. So what, what, it, when it comes right down to it, in, we're in election season, you know. Did you know that? <laughs> 2024. Here we are already. Right. It's yeah. like, uh, you know, after Labor Day, it's, it's like we're in the holiday season, I think. But yeah. What do you see? How do you see it play? You think Joe Biden is a candidate? Well, again, I think if Republicans had done as well as was expected, um, you know, he would have been getting a lot of pressure from the left because he would have had some challengers. You would have heard a lot of his potential presidential contenders talking today you know, about how it's time to move on because he did pretty well. And because, of, you know, the country is so divided, um, I, I think he's probably likely to run. Um, and I don't think he has to shift so far to the left. Because I don't think he's as weak as he would have been. Had and, the and then on the other side, you think they, if someone other than Trump, you would say DeSantis has the... You know, I the, think it's so darn early. Mike um, Pence, Mike Pompeo. Yeah. Uh, Remember when Mayor, Mayor Giuliani was by far the top pick among Republicans um, to be a presidential candidate? I mean, things, things shift. Uh, I think Phil Graham was at one point, too. I mean, so... What about you? It's early. It's early. Would you ever think about it? I, 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 think, I'm, I think I'm fine. Well, we know you're getting, you're getting so out of this crazy business for a while. <laughs> There's no way you'd ever uh, think about that, huh? I don't think so, Joe. Favorite son so. from Ohio? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, Ohio is a, a state that used to be the bellwether state. We've actually shifted a little more Republican. I think so. And, and J.D. Vance is, a, I think, an example of, yeah. of that. He, yeah, I guess, absolutely. I, we're using populist as a new MAGA term, I think, right? Is that, is that what, do, should we replace MAGA with populist, you think? Like, what, what, what would you call J.D. Vance? I'm just trying to get the, all our term, terminology right. I think he's in the, he was in the MAGA camp, and the question MAGA is, does he camp. stay in that camp? I mean, part of it is whether everybody, whether there was a group of Republicans that moved into the MAGA camp yeah. because of the pressure from, from right. President Trump. Right, and, and they may be liberated at this point because you don't maybe have to and that's worry. The, and that's the question. You don't have to be worried about yes. who's been defanged in terms of retribution. That was my right. idea, which I thought would be bad for 
Democrats. Actually. Oh, by the way, yeah. it may be very bad for Democrats. Right. That he's out of here. All right, Rob Portman. Again, if you look at JD's campaign, it's about the issue.